Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's love to be loved. It's always love to be loved. And i here to talk to you about the soup. Or bowl. I gotta say it that way because they're really, you know, that thing you watch with the football. The big game, the big championship, the, the, the big game, the big championship game. I, th I think you could still call it the Lombardi, the Lombardi Trophy championship game. But you can't even say who, you can't even say who uh, owns that because, because they own that. Because they're really particular about you saying anything on TV. Because they want a piece of everything. And they'll do a copyright strike no matter what you say. So you got to be really careful. I mean, even really popular TV shows didn't want to say the real name of the championship. That's why I call it the soup. Or bull, <clears throat> because they want money. They'll take all your revenue, all of that. They're they're really they got a tight grip on that thing. Anyways, there's a few facts I wanted to point out. I find I found very interesting. Now, I don't know. Teams have a history of moving from town to town. <laughs> Across, across from state to state, their team will do better, whatever. I don't know. They, they always have these weird things that go on. Anyways, um, the, the one move I, I found interesting, and th let, me, let me check my facts real quick. Okay, I was right. I had to do a really quick Google search because, you know, then I asked Google. <laughs> I mean, come on, think about it. Think about it. I don't care if it's atheist. Google is the god of the internet. <laughs> Big question you got. Uh, so anyways, uh, the Baltimore Ravens. Now there's an interesting I know the Baltimore Ravens aren't playing. Just chill out and let me just stop. 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 I just want to get across the fact that I found this very interesting. The Baltimore Ravens used to be known as the Baltimore Colts. Now, they went to the Super Bowl. They went to the third Super Bowl against the Jets. The the Baltimore Colts were supposed to win that game and they lost. Um, it was a famous game because um, uh, hold on a minute. I can't remember something. Okay, what was I saying? Anyways, and Joe Namath of the New York Jets apparently said that he was going to win that Super Bowl. And that was like a famous thing. Like, I'm going to win. We're going to win. And they won. <laughs> Anyways, the interesting thing about the Baltimore Colts is that they moved 
the Baltimore Colts moved to Indianapolis, which is more known now. People know them as the Indianapolis Colts. They won a Super Bowl with, uh, hold on a minute. Anyway, they won the Super Bowl with Peyton Manning. Of course, then hurt his neck and blah, blah, blah. And they went on to the Broncos. They won the Super Bowl, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, so, uh, so I found that interesting. So you had the Baltimore Colts that moved to Indianapolis. Then later won a Super Bowl. Then, now we've got to connect the dots here. Then you got the Cleveland Browns. They moved to Baltimore. I'm going to paint the picture for you. They moved to Baltimore. But the Cleveland had a copyright or something on the name the Browns. So they changed it to the Ravens. And so the Cleveland Browns moved to Baltimore and became the Cle Cleveland Browns moved to Baltimore and became the Baltimore Ravens. And they won three Super Bowls. Now, the amazing thing about that is that historically, by name, the Cleveland Browns never even got to the Super Bowl, ever. But technically, if they were able to keep the name, the Cleveland Browns, and move them to Baltimore, and they would be just called the Baltimore Browns, they would kind of still be out of that category. But because they didn't get to keep their nickname, <laughs> and of course, you know, the city didn't change their name to Cleveland, who would want to do that? Oh, sorry. Anyways. But, so, technically, the Cleveland Browns won... Not only win two Super Bowl, but won three Super Bowls. <laughs> Whoops, two. They won two Super Bowls, anyways. Um, so, so technically, the the Browns did go to the Super Bowl and they won because they were the original, at first, the original Browns that moved to Baltimore. I just found that out. It was interesting. And now the Cleveland Browns have even, I think they've been to one playoff game. I don't know. I'm not even going to look that up. It's not even worth my time because they're not even, they weren't even in it this year. They weren't in it last year. Anyway, it's just, it's just it's been a sad, a sad, a sad story for, for Cleveland. And it's been a bad, really Sad story for Baltimore. Anyways, I just I just thought that was interesting that a team that became another team moved. They won a Super Bowl. When they lost the Super Bowl, when they first started out, and then. And then a team that never went to the Super Bowl moved their team there, had to rename it. And then they won the Soup or Bowl. Forgot. I don't want to get a copyright strike. Anyway, so I just, did you find that? Fascinating. Did you find that very... I was just like, wow! How does that even... I mean, so technically, the Cleveland Browns won a Super Bowl, so did Baltimore, but they're not the Colts. They're the Ravens. It's just... Oh, this is... 
And think about it. The Patriots. I don't know why I chose them. I don't know why they became a favorite of mine. A lot of people don't like them because they're cheaters. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. They shouldn't have done it. You should never cheat, no matter how ridiculous the rules are. The first time they got cheating, caught cheating, keep that in mind, caught, is that someone was filming the other team. Now, people go, oh my gosh, how can they do such a thing? Well, first of all, there's TV cameras everywhere looking at every angle. Plus, on top of that, on top of that, there's other cameras that they don't show you on TV. And you you get the the other team gets the look at film. They don't see the actual film, but they see photographs of what happened before. And so, so this whole th look, the whole thing is the reason why I was cheating is because it was not an authorized camera. Though they can still watch they can still watch it on authorized equipment and watch the previous play before and watch to see what the signals what they were you know signaling to the quarterback and nowadays most of that's irrelevant because it's usually they just cover their mouths and speak to each other via um, helmet, helmet cam, helmet, whatever, audio. So when they got in trouble was deflating the football. You go, well, what's wrong with that? Well, every football is set at, at, at a certain amount of air that is allowed in the football, and they make it to where it doesn't give the team an advantage or disadvantage. It makes it to where it's competitive with everybody. Now, I'm not saying that he shouldn't have done it. I'm just saying this is how ridiculous it was. It wasn't like he they put they put sticky stuff on their hands to catch the ball. No. It wasn't like they they greased up their jersey so it'd be harder to grab onto them. No, it wasn't that kind of cheating. It was the matter of cheating of rules that were set of things that if everyone did it, it wouldn't give it, like, for, and I'm not talking about if everyone put sticky hands, it would be fair to everyone else. Look, that, that would be ridiculous to make that a rule. I'm talking about Things that just make sense. The reason why, the reason why uh, the Patriots and other teams have done this, they're just too dumb to do it. I'm really, I don't know which one I'm more mad at than breaking the rules blatantly or not being able to get away with it twice. <laughs> Anyways. I mean, it's just how stupid can you be? Is the reason why they let out the air so it'll be easier to grip onto the ball, to, to pass it, throw it, and it'd be easier to catch. But think about it. If the ball was intercepted, it'd be easier to the defenders to catch the ball too. Uh, anyways, they shouldn't have done it because it's against the rules. The rule, rules are rules, I mean. And they just want to make sure everyone ha has the same amount of advantage as the other one. And to keep it competitive. So, there's that. That craziness. Now, here's another crazy thing. Brady, Tom Brady, 
should, statistically speaking, should have won five Super Bowls. And he would have been the first quarterback to win five Super Bowls. Uh, uh, there's only been two that's won four. That's Joe Montana and Terry Bradshaw. Uh, and so anyways, another thing that's interesting is the loss against the same team with almost the exact same score, almost playing out exactly the way it played out prior. And one team was a lot better than the second team, than the, the second time around that they lost. So I just find it interesting that the Giants beat the unbeatable twice. One was more literal than the other. In a regular game, they can't, but for some reason, they can't beat them at the Super Bowl, and I would, don't know why. And that's why I pick the Patriots over the Falcons. I know, I know. You're tired of the Patriots winning. You're tired of seeing the smug look on Brady's face when he's like, yeah, that's right, we won. <laughs> I'm such a humble person. <laughs> so anyways, so there you go. That is my take on football and how crazy and how wonderful it is. I just hope this Super Bowl is a good one. It should be competitive because the Falcons seem to have a really solid team this year. And they seem to be underrated, which gives a team an advantage. Uh, except for the dealing with someone who understands that. Um, anyways, but the reason why I picked the Patriots is because I'm not just a fanboy. It's because they're not playing the Giants. That's just that's my logic. If they're not playing the Giants, they're gonna win. <laughs> <coughs> so, anyways, just remember. It's love to be loved. It's always love to be loved. Be blessed. And goodbye. Hey everyone. I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new here, subscribe. And, sub and hit that. A subscribe bell so you know when I'm uploading those videos and you can see my annoying face come across your device <laughs> and if you like this video just hit it no don't click on it hit it hit it hard <laughs> and if there's anything you want me to do if you want to me to keep doing videos like these or or if there's videos that I haven't done and you want me to do just let me know in the description down below um all right well have a blessed day and remember to catch me up on to catch up with me on twitter on instagram you know google plus the all those links are in the description down below. Okay. Uh, I know I said this already, but it's always love to be loved. Uh, whoops. <laughs> it's love to be loved. It's always love to be loved. And be blessed and goodbye.